Okay, hi everybody. My name is Jules Opperman. I'm a gold executive with ASEA. Um, and today's date is Tuesday the 8th of May and this is the uh, Shine Bright team training. So we ask you for your cooperation tonight not to record this call and not to distribute to mass media or the social media sites. Um, this call will be placed up on a Shine Bright Facebook page tomorrow um, for, it, for those that have, don't get to see it tonight. So welcome to the training tonight. So tonight's training, I've actually pre-recorded this morning with Larry McFarlane. So what I'm going to do first is actually show that recording. Um, and what I wanted from Larry was to just talk about um, network marketing industry and actually just actually give him the chance to, for those that haven't met him or talked to him, get to know what he's about and what actually his background is in the industry and just because um, he's very, uh, when I met him, he gave a really good story about, you know, why ASEA, why network marketing. And I just thought it'd be great for everyone to hear that story. So we did that this morning. He thought it wasn't a good idea to be up at three o'clock in the morning. Uh, so he said to say hello to everybody. And I'm going to play that video now. And then I thought we'd just open it up at the end for some questions um, that um, possibly, hopefully be able to answer for you. So two secs. Um. Okay. Now, can someone just unmute themselves and just let me know they can hear that? Yes. Yes, okay. Jules. Great. So Perfect. I'm just going to press play and off we go. Thank you. Not, not hearing. Not hearing the volume, Jules. Sorry? No, we not can't hearing. hear it. You need no. to turn the volume up somehow. Oh, okay. Um, right, it's up 100 to 100. So you can't hear it at all? Try again. Have you got a volume control on your computer as well as on the recording? Can't hear Jules. I'll just stop the share for a minute. So you can't hear? No. Nope. Um, you can hear very, very faint in the distance. So there is something. Okay. Um, so I'm not sure what we're going to do then because, yeah, that's the only... That's as loud as I put my computer at full blast and that's his... So, just no. no, we can just hear Larry. I think Larry's a little bit louder than you. Okay, well, he talks more than me. Do you want to have a go at listening or? See how we go. Okay. Well, so, Margo, you perhaps stop me if it just, if it's too. Jules, maybe you just tell us what question you asked him. And okay. pause it when you're asking the question and then. Okay. Great. Idea. The other thing that might, I don't know whether this is going to affect the volume, but if we all turn our videos off, it may improve at least reception if he's not delivering Good volume, though, or if you're not delivering good volume from it's the recording. It's a recording, Margo, so I don't think that's... I know, right. but sometimes it can affect volume just between us. Okay, so I'll just so say, I, you know, the first question was to him. Uh, he was... I asked him to talk about himself and why he got involved with the SEER. So we'll just see how we go. Jules, I'm just looking up on 
on the internet. It says to share computer audio yes. with a video with sound on Zoom. Um, during the screen sharing, click on share computer sound. Oh, so I try and share it again and see if that works. Okay. So I just go share. It just says, yeah, just click on share computer sound. I don't know if there's anything that says that. Oh, yes, there is. <laughs> It's not where I started. I, uh... Okay, thank you so much, Paula. Please. So here we go. Google. <laughs> That's great. Thank you for doing that. That's so. Okay, here we go. We'll start again. Hi, Larry. How are you today? Hello, Jules. It's good to see you. Thank you for coming on to our um, pre-recorded training. So it's Tuesday the 8th of May here in Australia. And um, I'd love to, for you to, firstly to talk about yourself and your background in the industry and just why you chose ASEA to work with. Um, so I'd love to hear you. All right. Thank you. Okay, well, I've, I feel like I've been around the industry for a long time, but it's not where I started. I... Uh, from the time I was a little guy, uh, 12 years old, I've been an entrepreneur ever since then. I was the guy that, uh, that sold all the cool stuff at school, right? I, um, and then I had a lawn mowing business and all these things as a teenager until by the time I got to college, I already knew I wanted to be in business for myself. So I went to school in computer science, uh, but before I even graduated, I started my first computer company. I built computers for a while. And since then, uh, I have done a succession of software companies. So most of my career has been as a serial technology entrepreneur. So if that's the case, what are we doing here in network marketing, right? Yeah. Like, I have the uh, really fortuitous um, diversion into network marketing after selling one of my companies. I sold a company to uh, a company in the San Francisco Bay Area. And uh, my family was at a point when they didn't want to move, but I had to go with the acquisition. So I commuted from Utah, where I live, to the San Francisco Bay Area, which is about an hour and a half flight each way, plus an hour to the airport, plus airport time. You can imagine it's a nightmare commute, but that was my commute. And I did that for four days per week for about six years. Mm -hmm. And uh, it was way too much, right? And, and during that time, I did very well at the company and I was responsible for $150 million of revenue and I was traveling the world and it was stupid. And I realized finally that I wasn't happy and my family wasn't happy and the most important thing in the world to me was not being taken care of. So I... I resigned and I, I looked for a job in Utah and a recruiter contacted me in this little company, I, I'll, I won't name them, but uh, one of the top 10 companies in network marketing recruited me. They had a technology division, a technology products division, and they needed a president of their division. And they hired me as a technologist and a turnaround expert to come and fix this technology division. So I did that and that was almost six years there as well. So this was a public company, very big, had a great success there and learned a ton about uh, network marketing. It's something I hadn't done before. The first thing I learned was that I loved the people. I'm an entrepreneur and all of you are entrepreneurs or you wouldn't be here. You know, and, and we're, we're kind of strange people, right? We're not like everybody else. We're, we're optimistic. Yeah. We believe we can do things other people can't do. Uh, we tend to break rules a little bit. You know, we're, we're those kind of people. And by and large, we get what we want more often than others. Uh, and I loved meeting all those can-do people in network marketing. That was a great part. And I, I absolutely loved that. There was a downside, though, too. And I discovered over those years at that company that uh, I found it just depressing to see how many entrepreneurs like me came to the company and then didn't achieve their dreams. And they didn't achieve their dreams for a variety of reasons. Some people just don't have self-discipline and won't work. And 
that's too bad for them. But it's too many people came and they didn't have a leader who could help them and they didn't have tools and they, they lacked the skills. They had all the heart, all the intention, willing to put in some discipline and didn't make it. And I found that just to be so depressing that it actually drove me away from the industry. Uh, I left and went back to Silicon Valley for a couple of years and then I got recruited back into the industry. Once you're in, you can't get out. And uh, I was the chief marketing officer for another network marketing company. And I met another set of leaders in a different compensation plan and different ways of duplicating the business. Another great experience, um, but again, some of that same thing. Some people succeed and some people don't, even though they should. And that just galvanized in me the belief that I needed to do something about this and that I could do something about this. Being a technology entrepreneur, I know how to create technology products. I know how to work with companies. Um, and I now know a lot about network marketing, a ton about network marketing, both what the leaders need to do to succeed and what corporate people need to do to enable them to succeed. And with armed with this knowledge and mostly with this passion that I, I think it's important that everybody who wants to succeed in network marketing should be able to. If you won't work, I can't help you. No. <laughs> but if you want to succeed, if you're willing to work, then you should have the ability to do that despite where who recruited you and despite which company you're with. Yes. Those things can give you a leg up, but they shouldn't be fatal, right? Right. And, and so with that, I came to, I founded this company called Gixity, my company today, and the vision was to create a virtual personal assistant we call her Jeannie, and the Jeannie would be a proxy for, for the very best leaders in your, in your company, who if they could sit right next to you 24-7 would help you succeed, and everybody agrees. If they could do that, if they could sit right next to you 24-7, everybody would succeed, but they can't. And so Jeannie is their proxy, and she makes that possible. And it's been a very rewarding thing for me to do, to come and right those wrongs, if you will, um, overcome that part of the industry and let so many more people, thousands and thousands more people succeed than would have otherwise. So that's, that's who I am and that's why I am. Now, ASEA. ASEA was a, a lucky accident, really. It's when my company was really small and we were just experimenting with the early versions of this technology, I was going from company to company, talking to people about my vision, and most people were saying to me, that's a really great vision, Larry, but that's insane. Nobody can do that. <laughs> and uh, I'm used to that. If you're a real entrepreneur, you get told you're nuts a lot, right? <laughs> if you're, yeah, yeah. Uh, it, you are too, Jules, and, and everybody listening to this today, if you're real entrepreneurs, you're going to be told that you're nuts. Mm. It's just part of the game. Mm. Um, and, and we kind of are. We're not normal. We're better than normal. We're way better than normal. But I was getting told this by bureaucracies, um, but not by everybody. And I partnered with a couple of companies in the beginning, and one of them was ASEA. I went and met with ASEA, and from the very first meeting at ASEA, there was something special there. ASEA just reeks of values, right? You talk to ASEA, you feel their integrity, you feel their commitment to what they do. That's so important to me in how, how I do it. But I also found them to be really competent and important at that phase. They were bold, right? They were willing to take a risk on a nutty entrepreneur who knew a whole lot about network marketing and technology. And together we launched Genie. And it was, if, for those of you who were here at the beginning, you remember that was a bumpy ride. My goodness, you know, we didn't get it right at first. I guess you never have it really right, but it gets better and better and better. And Astia went with me through all of that. And we are partners, Jixity and Astia. Uh, and we're growing Astia. We're helping Astia grow faster even than it would without the ASEA business coach. I, I, I love the people at ASEA. And I love the field at ASEA. This company has a, a really unique feel to it. There's a culture that is, um, that is very um, pragmatic but warm. 
there's real science here, there's real products here, there's a real compensation plan, you know, there's this real substance to this company. Uh, and there's, and yet there's this, these people are really warm. I don't see the kinds of abuses that I see in some other companies. So that's, that's how I got to, uh, to ASEA. Yeah, thanks for that. Because, um, you know, like me, I'm, you know, was new to network marketing, so I haven't ever had anything different than ASEA. So, you know, hearing how lucky we are to have those um, great people in corporate is amazing. So um, the next question is, um, from your point of view, where do you see ASEA sitting in the industry, uh, within the industry? Mm. Yeah, well, ASEA is, uh, is in a really, really great spot. So uh, this is an industry that, uh, for better or worse, it's easy to start a network marketing company. Compared to other significant companies, the capital requirements are, are somewhat smaller. The competence required is astonishingly low, and it causes a lot of companies to fail. So we all know the statistics that most new businesses fail in the first year or two. Now, it's even worse for network marketing companies. They all fail. Uh, ASEA didn't. They're way past that, right? ASEA is now, is now several years in. I don't even know, eight years now, I think? Eight years. Eight years old. Um, I've been working with them now for three and a half, so about half of that time. Um, and ASEA is past that point. They're too big to fail now. And they were too big to fail when I started working with them, too. Um, but small enough that their real growth is still ahead of them. They haven't opened up most, most of the world. They have a very small product set, some really great science, but the product set is still small. So the, most, the majority of their potential is yet to be realized. But they have the, the stuff that makes you great. They have those values that are just immutable. They have the science that you can't fake. They have the executive competence that's so hard to find for these companies. And it places them in a really great place in the industry. Uh, I, I grade the industry into three tiers of size, right? There are tier, the tier ones are the biggest companies, tier twos are the mid size companies and tier threes are the small ones and ASEA is a tier two company there um, which does not mean they're second best it means they're the second largest and they have a long way to go they're still you know a 40th the size of the biggest companies but they're a hundred times bigger than the small ones and it puts them in a really great place there's good buzz about ASEA when I am out talking about my product and my partnerships uh, I don't ever hear people say bad things about ASEA, and mm -hmm. it's uh, it's just great. I love, I love ASEA. It's a good yeah, good company great. in every way. That's that's uh, that's great to know because um, you know you're not you didn't have to be involved with ASEA, so no. you know, we're we love being in the right place as well. So no, and they're they're not perfect, right? Let's ad no. let's admit it. You know, ASEA is growing. Mm -hmm. They're opening markets. They're introducing products. They're hiring people, and they mess up. Plenty. I mess up plenty. So ASEA has uh, has all the growing pains that we would expect, but with all this uh, ability to get through that and to make something great of it. In fact, you know, I was reflecting the other day on um, on how ASEA is doing today. Right? Uh, ASEA ASEA is really in its best phase since I've known them. They're growing faster today than they've ever grown before. Their biggest month for the last several months is last month. You know, last month was the best month, and the best month before that was the previous month, and the previous month, and the previous month. That's wonderful. So they're they're trending right now, and I know most of you in this group are in Australia, and you'll be pleased to know that that's the fastest growing country in the world for ASEA. Um, there are some small com countries that they just opened that, on a percentage basis, are you know really hockey sticking. It's really impressive growth. But Australia is substantial, and that substantial market is growing faster than all of ASEA's other substantial markets. 
Uh, and it's doing so because of great leadership and really the legacy of how ASEA Australia came to be. Now you, you all, most of you know, those of the youth that are new may not have been there for that. It wasn't easy. You know, in the, in the beginning, Australia had one product that wasn't the flagship product of the company. The company's flagship product was its first product, the, the liquid supplement um, and uh, the second product was Renew. And Renew 28 was how Australia was opened and really the world was figuring out how to sell it. Um, Australia had all of its growing pains with logistics and shipping and all this stuff. It was not easy to be an ASEA associate in the beginning in Australia. Um, but you persevered, you made it happen. And along the way, because of that, because you kind of were forced in the fires of ASEA adversity, Australia is now poised to do more than any place else in the ASEA world. Uh, you guys have great leaders that are working. We, we love to talk about at Jixity that what we do is help with duplication. Duplication is the key word in network marketing, right? Duplication means we find something that works and we all do the same thing because it works. It becomes easy to train on, it becomes easy to do, it becomes easy to talk about and it snowballs, and if you focus on duplication and get it right, it leads to the holy grail of network marketing, which is called momentum. And momentum is when the whole thing suddenly becomes easy. People come up to you and say, you're in ASEA, right? Yeah, how do I become a part of that? Mm -hmm. but right now, that's not happening, right? It's, it doesn't happen to every company, but it does happen often, and it happens when duplication really works when it's so easy to do that anyone can do it and the story is just a piece of cake to tell well that happens when leaders focus on the business as much as they focus in the business how do we do it just as much as what we do and you have leaders in Australia that, that do that that are focused on on the business how do we process this and keep refining it and keep making it simpler and more powerful? And I work with those leaders every day. And I can tell you, you have some of the best leaders in ASEA in Australia who are having that kind of success. And so to my, my viewpoint, I think that us, ASEA Australia is bound to hit momentum in the next year or two and to infect the rest of ASEA with it. This is, it's a really great place to be right now. Yeah, we're very lucky having Justin and Nicole as our leaders. Um, you know, I've That's terrific. Not, mm -hmm. far, not far in and yeah, built my business with one product. Perhaps it was a godsend at first, so I didn't have to learn too much. So, uh, awesome. Yeah, that is a part of the plus. Uh, we've now got some, some amazing products, so, you know, it does make it easier. Um, okay, industry statistics, I'm not sure, you know, um, this question, mm. just um, rank advancements, you know, just to kind of put us, show us in perspective. Yeah. Um, I always had a three to five year plan, uh, you know, everyone's got a plan and a why and a goal. Um, so, you know, um, for us newbies in, in the industry, um, the rank advancements and the growth. Mm. Okay, well, this is a little bit tricky. Um, I have I have wonderful relationships with my partners, like ASEA, who trust me with enormous amounts of data. Mm. And uh, so I'm capable of answering those questions in detail, but those questions are really ASEA's to answer okay. and not sure. mine. But, but let me tell you what I can tell you, okay? I collect a lot lot of data that ASEA doesn't have and I have some general impressions that I think are probably what you're driving at. Yes. Your, your story would be a great one too, Jules, because you, you've been around for a few years but you recently just decided to go to make this your full-time income, yes. right? Yes. That's, yeah. that's incredible. You should tell that story. That's, that's what's, what really matters. Well, things that we, we track here, so let me see if I can, if I can get at what you're, what you're going for. ASEA's uh, Growth is accelerating, which means both its enrollments and its rank advancements are trending up and accelerating. Um, 
ASEA has always had excellent retention. Retention is, it can be measured with different statistics, but the one I like is how many days on average does a brand new associate stay with the business before moving on to something else? Um, and the, all these companies track that statistic. ASEA, without divulging it, the specifics of that statistic, ASEA does much better than most. ASEA is in the top tier of retention in network marketing. That's really, really good. Mm -hmm. um, um, re recruiting right now is the best that it's ever been. Um, earnings, ASEA has multiple seven-figure annual earners, people who make more than a million U.S. dollars per year. ASEA has multiples of those. It's important that you have a company that can generate those multiples of those. So you've got that. You have thousands and thousands of associates today that are meeting their income goals. Some people come to the company and they just want to make enough money to pay for school fees or for their car payment. Others who want to bring their spouse home and not have to be a two income family, whatever your goal is, there are thousands of people in ASEA who do that every month. Yeah. And, um, and the number of people who are doing that is growing. That's, um, as an executive in network marketing, when I was at corporate, that's a number that I focused on very much is what's the trend? Are more people with our company achieving what they set out to do? Or is that number going down? You can be, you can be in a phase where you're recruiting a lot of people, you're enrolling fast, but you're not having a lot of people achieve their dreams. And, and ASEA is. So I, I hope that gives you some of yeah, what you need. It does. I, I, I realize that, you know, it's not, it uh, wasn't more, it was just more about where, you know, is yeah. the target, you know, that people are doing okay and they are, people are achieving their dreams. So certainly Kim, Kim could share that information with you or, or Karen or somebody from corporate, they have the right to share it. I, I don't. No. Uh, but here, let me give you some numbers I can share with you. These are numbers I collect, okay? Um, one is, how many people do I need to talk to to get somebody to enroll? Okay, on average, if you're using the business coach, that's how I measure you, right? So if you're using the ASEA business coach, um, on average, you need to talk to about seven people to recruit one. Some people do substantially better, some not as good, but on average about seven. That's really good. In the industry, that's really good. Um, also, we track how many, uh, how well do people recruit when they use the ASEA Business Coach versus when they don't. And if we compare all people who use the ASEA Business Coach, those that pay with a pro subscription and those that don't, to everybody who doesn't, use the business coach at all, those that use the business coach recruit over 600% more than the people who don't. That's off the charts, right? But I always have skeptics when I share that who say, yeah, that's not fair because so many people just do nothing. Okay, true that, right? Plenty of people sign up and do nothing. So let's make the stat much harder. Let's take all of the people who use the business coach, even if they do nothing, and compare them only to the people who don't use the business coach and successfully enroll. Okay, so we're gonna compare enrollers to a SIA business coach users, paid and unpaid. 2.1 times more recruiting per person by business coach users than not in the most recent quarter. Okay, 2.1 times better. That's pretty darn good, yeah. right? Is the, is the business coach magic? Nope. No, you start using it and you'll see there's plenty of things that aren't magic. But what separates people who do this from people who don't are that they have some discipline. They have a process. They have a way to learn. They have a way to discipline. They have a way to follow, the, follow up. To succeed in network marketing, you need skills. You need persistence or de determination, some discipline. And you need the information. And all of that stuff can be found in the business coach. When you're brand new, you can get trained there. You can find the resources you need to share there. You can find examples of how to contact people there. You can keep 
with all of your contacts there and know what you've done with them, know when they engage with you, when they actually view something you sent them, be reminded to follow up with them. Um, you can see your team as it begins to grow. You can see them being added to your organization and you can see what they're doing. That's the essence of duplication. They're going to do what you do. Uh, and so all the tools you need to succeed in network marketing are there if you will give it the time and take advantage of those resources. Sorry, I got on my soapbox and I sold it a little bit, didn't I, Jules? I apologize. <laughs> you, you answered my last question. <laughs> I mean, Janie, look, I'm, you know, you, you know, I, I've taken a while to get on board. I love the Genie app and I'm starting to, you know, use Genie every day because I'm, you know, now home more. And oh, good. I, yeah, so, and I love all the new, um, the new technology you're bringing into Genie. So, yeah, I would, um, I thought that was a great, with the app, um, with the, uh, whether they're free or whether we're paying for it, um, you know, people can still get results yeah. by using the free one. Is that right? Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely, yeah. You know, the, mag the real magic of the business coach is that it's a partnership. Mm. I work every day with, uh, with the SIA's leaders and, Every team in ASEA, you're on Justin and Nicole, Nicole's team, they have a way that they duplicate the business that's unique to them and it's a really good way and they're experimenting with it and refining it and improving it and Jeannie helps their team, you to do it that way and it will continue to do so. You've, uh, if you follow Jeannie on Facebook, there's a, a Facebook page called the ASEA Business Coach or in your Shine Bright team group, you'll see that we very frequently post updates to Jeannie. She's, she gets updated every week. Mm -hmm. New features and fixes and improvements and things from Justin and Nicole. So it's constantly moving and taking you in the direction that you need to go. But the reverse is also true. It gets better because you tell us what you need. Yeah. Um, and Nicole are brilliant at this, and you've been good too, Jules. And I met Jules, I met you um, at a at convention, yes. right? Yeah. Uh, a year ago. And uh, we sat together at dinner, and you told me straight up how it was, right? You, told <laughs> me what you didn't like, and I appreciate that very much because we did something about what you didn't like, and we yeah. all. Always do. Well, I, I enjoyed that dinner and I enjoy our uh, chats and getting to know you, Larry, because it's been um, right. a really good side. That's part of the side, you know, I like to help people and we, we are very lucky to have Justin and Nicole because I think probably some people don't realise that what we get through Jeannie is what they are pushing through and not every team in ASEA is getting that. So, so you know, I, mm -hmm. when I uh, recruit someone, I really get people knowing that the Shine Bright team is the team to be in because we're very lucky and we've got some great leaders and some great people. It's a really great community that we have with Shine Bright. So thank you so much for coming on today. Oh, you're welcome. Thank you for the invitation. I'm honoured. And, you know, I couldn't get you up at 3 o'clock in the morning to do it live. I'm sure lots of people would have loved to see you live today to ask questions, but I'll try and answer them for them. So I'll I'm pretty confident they wouldn't like me as much at 3 a.m. <laughs> this was a good way. Thanks again for the invitation, Jules. You have a great day. Thank you. Okay. Hope you all enjoyed that. Does any uh, now we've just we've gone over time a bit, but does anyone have any questions? Margot, I'm sure you'd have something. <laughs> Not this time, Jill. It was beautifully covered. Yeah, he and, did. Really and actually, to let everybody know just how far ahead Jenny puts us, and how far ahead Shine Bright has come because of. Justin and Nicole and their relationship a lot with, with Larry. Yeah, yeah. And look, Larry's great and, you know, he's, he's um, just trying to work on everything. And, um, yeah, I really enjoyed interviewing him this morning. So, um, you know, 
10 out of 10 in the industry. I hope everyone's a little bit more, um, can actually see that we're in the right place at the right time and um, going forward. So very exciting. So it's past 7.30. So the Jane Zia tonight is doing the interviewing. She's interviewing Hemi. She's got some um, few good testimonials. Um, I actually forgot to say about tomorrow night, there's the uh, expert in the house, Bart and Melissa Cotter. And I've also noticed um, on Thursday morning at 10 a.m., Danny Doyle is interviewing Dr. Gary Samuelson. And that will be um, on Facebook Live or at the advancinglifeintro.com Zoom. So that's at 10 o'clock, um, New South Wales, Victoria, Queensland time. So if you're about, that would probably be a great interview to watch as well. So, Jules, is it being um, um, recorded? Um, at 10 o'clock. I think it's on Facebook. So usually they stay up on, on there. I'm oh. not sure for that one. Yeah, because we have Clay Stevens then, so. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah, I'll just see if there's any questions in the chat. Nope. So, all right. So, we'll see you all at eight o'clock with Jane. And thanks, everybody. I'm glad you enjoyed it. Thank you, Jules. That was just brilliant. Thank you very much. Thank you. Night, everyone. See you soon. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.